a long ago in Project Zomboid Media, I posted this. This is Jack, a character concept from the Project Zomboid devs, and I wanted to know how, how hard would it be to play as Jack in Project Zomboid. When, when thinking about where Jack lives, it's probably Moldra, because the medical center there. And, uh, yeah, let's get into creating Jack's character build. Uh, this does kind of seem like him. I know he looks a little heavy, like, top-heavy. But I don't really want to make him that, because that's just fucking my character, and I'll die fast, and that and that's not the goal here. But, uh, yeah, this seems to embody Jack a lot. He's a surgeon. He is... Pretty strong and agile. Well, he's not strong. He's not a player, but he got some good character. He got some good character build right here. Yeah, this kind of this kind of looks like him. I uh, you obviously can't get the brown pants. I would like brown cargo pants. You can't have the tie at the start. There's no short sleeve formal shirt. Um, if I'm aware. Uh, yeah, this kind of looks like our character. All right, let's get let's get into the actual game now. And asking on the idea of where to base as this character. It should definitely be the uh, Portman Medical. That's, that is like probably his well, well, most well known place, is Portman Medical as Jack. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of the game. I want to survive for a month as this character. One straight month of Jack. And if we die early, well, I'm gonna have to do a harder challenge. And that's just gonna be the if of it. I'm just gonna like loot the house and move on with the day. Try to secure Portman Medical. Anything's a weapon for Jack, he doesn't even care. He prefers a knife, but he'll use anything. We're not even that far off of Portman Medical. There's just some zombies in our way. Might as well deal with them. Hopefully my knife lasts. And no, it did not. Hopefully, we can find hunting knives soon. It's just as easy as that, though. Him with the one, two, three. Rip that. Uh, let's use the guard. <laughs> That's doing a little guardian here. Why is it so fast? He does not care about the swing speed on this. <laughs> Jack, you were lucky. I forgot the name of Jack, so his name's Jack, but we can pretend his name's Jack together. And uh, in the picture, he got some bite mark on his right arm. But I plan on not doing that to my boy. do in this situation now that he's activated a big alarm. He wonders if he can help himself, if he can actually get to the Portman Medical and base it up. Maybe he's a fighter, maybe he's not. One thing in his mind is, how the hell am I gonna get? Jack drops his gun, puts his book aside, goes downstairs, tries to see if he can scourge for a weapon. Bathroom, closet. Anything works, even these pairs of even the pair of scissors he got, or you can try to sneak around them. Jack slowly opens the door, takes a look outside and see how it is. Four, five, six maybe. Maybe you can hop the fences. Try to sneak around all of them. He's scared, but he has to do it. There's no other way. Hopping into the forest. Sneaking around like a smart man he is. He doesn't dive first into danger. He avoids it at all costs. You really underestimate how much there will be in the forest. Running past fears, maybe tons. He doesn't know anymore. This could have been his neighbors, fan friends, family, daughter, mother. Who knows? 
One thing for certain, Jack knows how to escape the zombies. He knows he should use the pick tree line to try to avoid them. And try to search it for a house he can go into. For a weapon. Maybe this one will do. Only one zombie. Two. There's one. There's the other. A working taxi, maybe? Or it's out of gas. Jack's already out of shape. Hopefully you can do this. Hopefully. Jack really feels disgusted about what he did. He ripped his pants, his own jeans, even. He's stressed. Tired. Doesn't even have a weapon to fight it back against. He's trying, but he doesn't know if he'll survive. That's a sad bit about it. Jack wonders what he could do besides taking a nap. So, he goes to bed for the night. Jack waking up from a comatose nightmare. 11.20 p.m. The house stinking of rotting flesh. Dead bodies. A book he doesn't feel like reading. All he wants to do is leave. Wish there was no zombies. Wish there was none of this anymore. Jack just wants a normal, his normal life back, but he knows he can't have it back. He really does try, but he can't. Zombie pounding on the door, trying to alert the others. Jack opens it, gets ready to fight. Pushing it, stopping it, killing it. Jack really wonders. Has he become the monster? And not them? He's gonna try to sneak over to the next house. Maybe the car will be working. A gas pump? A gas can? A tire pump? A screwdriver? Jack's luck is coming up. If there's a key... There's no gas. Jack will remember this though. He'll mark it on his map either. Jack gets ready to loot the house. Try to find a weapon. There was no weapons in the house. But Jack sees his potential home. The place he worked so hard at. He knows it like the back of his hand. Portman Medical. He knows there's a store right beside it, too. He's buying what the goods he needs. Coolers for storing food. Even though nice. But first, he has to get rid of these zombies. Fighting the zombies. More come. Hopefully that's the last of them. I'm just trying to get up, but Jack keeps stomping the fence, killing him. Jack stomps his second, doing the same. He sees the zombie now, goes for the kill. He notices the knife on the pillow. He could use it to his advantage. First dispatching the zombie, sneaking into the house. Grabbing the knife, attaching it to his belt. It's the only protection he has for now. Also, a kitchen knife. Could be useful for Jack. He doesn't like what he's do doing, but he has to do it. It's the only way, right? Either he's going insane, or he's dreaming less. 
doesn't want to do this. He really doesn't. But cider him or her. Disgusted by his actions. He shuts the window. He goes outside. Trying to head over to Courtney Medical. Seeing if he can restore it to its old glory. Jack, our character so far, wonders what he can do with his life. Killing his co-worker Susan upstairs in the home area. He really didn't want to do it. He just had to. Jack wonders about a lot. Wonders about his mental state. Wonders if he can get smoke. He's addicted. Like all men were. Jack really does wonder how he's going to survive this apocalypse and get through it all. He found the carpentry magazine, carpentry book, in the house next door. He wonders if he can build and expand it into a killing hole. This is the end of Jack's story so far. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, don't forget to leave a comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.